Hello everyone. Uh, what I'm doing right now, I'm just testing one of the oil distillation devices. Distilling oil, it's at 420 degrees. Just gaining temperature slowly. Here we've got some waste output. Here's some production. It's pump, power supply, some mess on the floor. Here's the oil. So it's a mix of engine oils. I believe it's uh, diesel and uh, petrol cars engine oils. So again, production. Here's a unit. Just from the distance, you can see the unit. Here we've got some breathing pipe, slightly exhausting right now. So with some thinner oils and low temperatures, you wouldn't have any exhaust. Now having problem with my gasket because I had to disassemble the unit to do some adjustments. It's a second time testing, so I did some adjustments. Just cut something that not needed in this unit, added something that I thought would be the good addition. Anyway, just ad adjustments. So I just moved the gasket out of its original position, but anyway, I will supply it with new one. So it's for the customer. It's not a trouble. It shouldn't smoke at all. But anyway, it's smoking now. My fault. But it's gonna be fixed. New gasket will be supplied. So here's the unit. Again, we've got production. Uh, the thinner oil, the production will be much faster, considerably faster. This one is a thick one, it's a diesel, mostly diesel engine oil. It's all filtered, and this funnel actually it has a fine metal mesh just within the tube no particles no mechanical inclusions just good used engine oil so it's good and it can be pumped by this sort of solid state pump anyway it's a test mode after today's distillation everything gonna be cleaned up new gasket will be supplied and then everything gonna be posted to the customer again here we've got waste coming out constantly it's a continuous unit temperature gets up a little bit so I would be able to increase the flow supply is a voltage regulators the unit run up approximately at uh, 175 volt is a uh, three regulators for three sets of heating elements within the unit I wouldn't recommend to run it any hotter because uh, otherwise we will create some hot spots within the unit and oil will be burned rather than boiled so we're trying to keep everything within the boundaries of the oil boiling temperature within this range so 334 I'll increase a little bit just slightly so we're gonna get some higher flow and this unit could, could be automated so like set up like that and uh, with some thermal control the temperature could be kept at certain position to prevent it from thermal runaway or overcooling or something anyway here's my safety device just in case and uh, of course concrete everywhere it's outdoors 
concrete wall, concrete floor, so something like that. Now while we're talking, you can see the stream is going on, it's been increased a bit. waste it's just uh, production of the waste is getting down and thus we would need to increase the flow sorry sorry for shaky camera just do everything with one hand trying to control to observe trying to increase the flow Just one overview of the unit. Another one is the unit. It's a new type. Some amendments been done to the original unit, original construction. Now it's slightly different. Um, the construction of uh, of the boiler is more compact. I would say a little bit more simple little bit simpler than it used to be before something like that easier to build I would say anyway a new unit came out uh, a little bit more productive than it used to be before more efficient now we've got temperature climb so we need to increase the flow probably much higher Yeah, it's all about thermal control, some electronic controlling devices needed to keep it at certain temperature. But it's up to the customer, either he wants to control it manually, but I would recommend to do some electronic controls. All I'm supplying, I'm supplying this voltage regulators, pump, rubber hose, unit of course it's a waste coming out this production production is about 15-20 liters per hour something like that Thank you. Thanks a lot.